What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. After the PSEA race, we took a week off from filming and editing and kind of just got some life back together. And uh, my son Steven graduated, so big shout out to Steven. Good job on his accomplishment. It was a strange graduation, but we did it and we got through it and we had a little shindig here this weekend. And uh, everybody was here dancing and having a good time and that was fun. So the new week starts and we got ice cream cruise coming up the late, we got ice cream cruise coming up later this week. And uh, one of the guys going has brought his little Dodge Dakota up here. This is a twin turbo, twin turbo on Mega Squirt. I'm not sure the rest, but we're about to find out and I'm pretty stoked to bring this to you guys. It's way different and something new and, and uh, should be a lot of fun. So, all right guys, let's check this thing out and let's get to work. That looks really this cool. This is just so people quit asking, really. I'm not a cover <laughs> fan, but I've had everybody, I'll pop the hood, they go, this is a nice S10, what LS is that? <laughs> like, you know, it's not an S10 and it's not an LS. So then I got the stickers that people still ask. <laughs> and what was sad is I, I even took that. it to a shop that I used to work at where the mechanics came out and they're like, what LS is that? I'm like, you work at a shop and you still, you see these cars every day and you think that's an LS. Every day. Oh, but that that's it. I mean, it's it's really simple, pretty basic. Uh, it's uh, 67, 65 VS Racing turbos. It's got Dash 8 fuel rails, fuel lines all the way through. It's got horsepower uh, performance injectors. I got. I just tried them. Just see so you that know, they're yeah, thousand sure. CCs. Um, stock water bed, the ARP does bigger throttle body. GM, IAC, and throttle position sensor, and that's it. Other than that, everything else is 100% Mopar. That's awesome, man. Jamie's kind of a Mopar guy, too. So yeah, yeah, as you say, that's what, so that's what sparked the conversation good. last time we were here, because I was like, how much Mopar stuff do you guys really get to do, man? And I've seen a little bit more this year, for yeah. sure, than I did last year, but this wasn't done. It was just, it just had the motor in it and no turbo stuff, so. Uh, there will probably be a little bit of an oil leak on the right side on the pan. So don't be concerned of that. There's nothing. I went over leaks and clamps and everything about a thousand times. I'm not saying I won't come up with something, but there shouldn't be anything catastrophic that stands up. It's very cool though. Appreciate it. It's super unique, huh? Yeah, I, that it was, fits pretty good. Yeah, that was hopefully to be different. Was the yeah. was the whole quest? Everybody's like, why don't we put a 488 in it? Why don't you put a you know, turbo 400 in it. Why don't you do it? And I'm like, no, man. If I'm building the Dodge, I'm building the Dodge. If I'm building the Ford, I'm building the Ford. It's like, it's front to back, man. And the sensors were even a push. I just wanted a bigger throttle body, and unfortunately, I didn't want a uh, electric gas pedal. So I wanted the cable driven, and that's what I ended up with. I said, oh, I can change that plant too. We did that last night just to make sure that wasn't weak. So that's my classic get over it thing. It's awesome, man. It really looks good. What turbos are these? They're VS Racing 6765. Okay. Uh, and then it's just a big as I can find twin turbo intercooler. For now, I have, there's a place called Raven Fabrication, where I'm from, that's going to actually build probably a new radiator and intercooler this winter. Okay. Because I'm sure we'll be reaching the limit. I think that's probably going to be our biggest limit, biggest limit is the intercooler, to be honest. To make what I want to make. Yeah. So. Uh, there should be more in a fuel system, fuel pump, air. It'll just be the intercooler. That's about it. So the only thing that's not hooked up is the Mac valves because we're okay. chasing issues. So when we do go turn up, we'll have to hook the lines back up and re-plug them in, and then source, and then yeah. come into it. Yeah. Cool. So other than that, we're sounds like a plan. Ready to rock. Yeah. Cool. It looks awesome. Thanks, man. It is definitely good. I definitely didn't plan on, because the motor and train, everything came out of this whole front nose. But none of you guys have been through it, so it's not like no feet. But yeah. In reality, it's like, everything was fine, ran 10. It's like, we're taking it to Brent. Everything's good. 
go for a cruise, blows up. I'm like, no way, man. Like, so. That's how it works. Yeah. Man. So. You run it forever, and then you have this little yeah. Ran it a whole a whole season before NA. Fastest was a twelve two or twelve oh five. Oh, that's and awesome. That's motor. with guessing on what we're doing for you know pretty much tuning and learning on this motor. So it's pretty good. Trucks thirty or three thousand six hundred or sorry three thousand sixty two pounds. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's borderline heavy, borderline light. Yeah, it's not fat or it's around the edge. <laughs> it's kind of just right in the middle. I dig it. This is gonna be cool. This is the race gas or the this pump gas? Pump pump gas. gas? This is the pump gas. All right, yeah, cool. Perfect. And then we got some C16. Some of my favorite stuff. Dakota time. Then I still might need you to show me the shifter. Yeah. So, so we may just, oh, yeah, you want to run the button or want me to run the button? Yeah. What's up? You want to run the button or want me to run the button? Oh, I don't care. Okay, so there's two ways. The easiest way I like to do it is the automatic way, which is right here, that's first. If you kind of like, I don't want to hold your hand, but if you kind of like bump it forward, you'll feel it click and it'll go into third. So we'll go there, that's first. That's you first. Don't to, you don't have to pull anything, just push it forward one. See, I only went to neutral. Yep. That's okay. what he doesn't like. So you can just bump it very lightly, and I can do it too. Um, the only reason you can do it this way, that's first, second, third. But it likes to lock up more because of the linkage that way. So okay. I manually shift it. I'm really good at figuring it out. Um, that's second, so one more. So if you pull it lightly, oh, that is it. All right. So that's the second. Okay. And then next one starts. So what I normally do is I kind of bump it and pull it back. So I, I see. So and if you have an issue, I can help. You know, do it. Okay. So once you get some and heat then that's in it, park, it should, right? that's park. Yep. Okay. And it kind of has two parts because again the linkage is stupid because you can kind of feel like that. That's park. That's reverse. That's so. you got hard park and then you got park. Yeah, it just it just slips out of the second. I don't know what the hell's up with this thing. And I was really gonna change it, but building the motor and all the gaskets and paying yeah. for the trip, my girlfriend's birthday, I I just Yee! ran out of funds. So yeah. I was like, I bought everything I could to make. <laughs> I don't have pockets deep enough right now. That's all right, man. Well, let's uh, put some heat in it and just drive. Pretty fat the entire rip there. I don't know why it's chugging grind. Yeah. Not a lot of boost. 132, 133 kPa. Okay. 13, 14 degrees of timing and a 10 air fuel. So that's kind of where we're starting. Yeah.
113 it kind of rode right under 400 and then at the end it really started coming up yeah it was still pretty fast so i still got more trim in okay i'm gonna find it it, it wasn't was. chugging as bad though no it, because it's so not everything's so rich so no time and nothing's burning yeah put a whole bunch of fuel in the pipe so we clean that up and where we are we got some crazy beans and then we start flying the boots heck yeah and then good fuel and timing and watch for it yep Pretty nice though. That's just like a looks like a tablet. The line is off the bottom of the. Woo! We are going places, people. Yeah, it's doing good so far, but we haven't really tried to kind of push it yet. No, but it's doing good. Like I said this is light work. It's probably not even sweating yet. No sweat. <laughs> I'm not sweating yet, so it can't be sweating yet. <laughs> the world will know now. I'm tired of getting that answer. I don't know. That's alright, we're just about ready to go anyway. Alright, so again, one more time at this boost level, trimmed out, and uh, put a degree of timing in it too. So. Might as well get every bit out of it everywhere you can. Yeah, it's 10, 7, 10, 8, that pool. I mean, if we get that up to 11, 4. Yeah. 11, 4, 11, 6. I, I know. It, it, the engine feel lighter, crisper. Coils aren't working as hard. Everything's not yeah, working as hard then. Exactly. Can make it go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, we aren't even at that point yet. What? No. That's still like 10, 7s. Oh, really? Yeah. And the boost actually went down compared to when we started. We were at 133, 134 kPa. Now we're at 129. Well, that's because how rich it was and how retarded it was. It's building more boost because it's building it. It's burning it in the pipe. Right. So now we're actually down to the actual gate pressure. Right. That makes sense. 
I mean, I could have been part of the overboost initially had with the gates open. Yeah, that's true. I yeah. see that. That definitely makes me happy. That's close to the number I wanted to make on gate, and we're not there yet, so. That's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Good number to start with for sure for me. Yeah. I was not expecting to grab fuel up and it just keeps going up and up and up and up and then pulling out longer where you know rolling off and rolling off a little now on this ladder. As I said, it looked like it picks up some quite a bit as far as how it tapered off again. It changed dramatically versus the first one. So yeah, cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah. It's picked up so much power from when we started. What was the first one? 380 something, I think. Yeah. 381. 380 horsepower. Yeah. But then I was like, walking through a junkyard with him one day. I walked by, I was like, is that really a Hemi and a bowling save for 200 bucks? And I was like, I guess I'm going to pick it up, man. And there, I went to him, I was like, you can sneak it out the box. That's 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 yeah. For 250 bucks. So I was like, I had 265,000 or 265,000 miles on it. And took it apart on camera, everything. Everything was brand new. Bearing snow wear. It was running when it came in. And everything was inspected, didn't need to yeah, be bored yeah. or nothing. Like, everything was within tolerance, just putting new bearings, new seals, and everything. Yeah, and, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. for this and just ran through it some. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-eight KPA, so it's four and a half, four pounds of boost. Yeah. Nearly five hundred. Yeah, nine away. I need it, man. <laughs> I know you can do it, so don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with me. <laughs> That's why I brought it to you. We can do it. <laughs> That's on gate. That makes me happy. That was 11 2 air fuel ratio. Perfect. She's stoked. That you know was what, about awesome. four, four and a half pounds of boost. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Didn't even notice that. From the 508 and 509, it made 509. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's, That's 509 awesome. pounds of boost. Uh, what was that? I said at 509 pounds of boost. 5.09 pounds of boost. Wow. <laughs> Logs coming out. That's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are these 28s or 29s? Well, at least someone's blowing you a kiss while you got your flashlight on. Who? You? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, great, you getting sweet on me now? <laughs> Try. So right now we're having a problem where that boost controller is working, this one isn't, but we unplugged this one from this side, plugged it in over there and it worked. So let's check these pins real quick. And the pins do move around a lot in that plug. Right. Try and plug it back in real quick. All right, Brent, try it real quick. Cool. This one's working. Yeah. Before I left, these well, I should say before I left, but when I hooked them up, I tested both sides before I finished soldered everything and it worked. Hmm. And then it, they kept working. So this one is our power wire. We cut it really close. And we've got power there, but we haven't been getting power right there. Brent's got the solenoid on. It's definitely close That's to That's working. Yep. So our brake is definitely right there. All right, Brent, kill it. All right, Brent, I've got this new one hooked up. You want to test it real quick? There it is. 
That works now. Back at it. Just put the temp in it and then let it rip. We've got boost control all figured out now. Now we just gotta find it and dial it in. Try to creep up on it. See how far this engine can go. up and fell it was like an oscillation but the boost is flat oh do you want me to see if a coupler yeah 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 that's okay all right so we need to check all your couplers oh, i don't like these they like to get back all the time i like to feel it with my hand oh yeah this is gonna solve some of our stuff right here man <laughs> We're tightening all the clamps. Are we finding problems? They're all fairly loose. Oh, okay. And this will be the easiest solution if this doesn't. I sure hope so. And the look on his face was priceless there. <laughs> well, those ones I was specifically told not to go too tight because the aluminum stand and not to crush it. Uh, well, that's pretty hard to do, I think. But. Here, come on. Oh man, that's a burner right there. Here, right here. I'm already here. He's already got it. All right, we're gonna try this again. Um, some of the couplers were loose. Could have been that, so let's test. Gates like smoke and not smoke, smoke and not smoke. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna look at everything and see if it's not smoke. How power? Huh? How much power? 473. Okay. I still think you'd see more power though. Yeah. Alright, it's Jamie's gap in the plugs. The boys are over there getting them, getting them out, burning their hands. Yeah, they're a little toasty. But it's great. A little dark in here, the lights bright outside, so whatever. We're gonna run through these and uh, get them back in the car. So these are three steps colder, they said. Yep. 7AIX-13. All right, so we've gone through and gapped all 16 spark plugs and uh, put them back in. And we're gonna test this again. I do have the boost lower so that could fix stuff too but at least that'll give us a starting point so let's go Confidence paid off. <laughs> well, I was with the boost controller all the way down. I know. Okay, so we're still. back to around five, five and a half pounds. Okay. We need a high of 138 kPa where we were at 128 just on the gate before. So now let's just feed her a little duty and see if we can't yeah. gain. Woo! Some oscillation. 
Might have been your oscillation. Yes. Okay. Well, we figured out it should be that time. Let's try it again. It is kind of a same boost I added more duty to it but it made the exact same amount of boost that was just trimmed out a little more it was more 10 9 11 up. okay here we go again 55% duty cycle on the, on the boost controller and I trimmed it away out and Jamie had me add a degree of time <laughs> Oh. Here it goes. Let's go. Give it more duty. Pounds of boost. And I added 5% more duty cycle to it. And that's just trimming, and it could still use a little more trimming. And it might even want the tighter gap on the plugs. The way the graph looks, it, it just almost looks like it wants timing. That's what it almost sounded like to me. Over there, right? yeah. Well, it's like kind of here, I just could, tip down and power. I can feel bit. like a little, like, like the chug, like we blow a fire out. Okay. Like that feeling earlier, right? Similar to that. That's why I said maybe the plugs need to even go tighter. Or we can do a little bit of both. Yeah. Go for it. Seemed like it was a little better. Yeah, I think maybe if we tighten it up and get your little ignition box, everything it's got. You know, let's go ahead and pull them out and let's get them cooling off and gap them. The All right, so here we go. One more time. We noticed there are two wire coils with a little driver inside. Gap these things down. And let her rip once more. All right, so we just went back over all 16 spark plugs. Gap 16 spark plugs down to 0.012. So we started the day off at like 0 0.026, 0 0.030. We're down to. 0.012. See how this goes. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's see if we'll light it up. <laughs> All right. As Jamie said, they got the plugs way down. Everything else is the same. I want to see if this makes a difference. I believe it needs a CDI box. But we got to start new. But this is what we got. So we're going to try to make it work. Kind of part of the fun and experimenting anyway.
He can load it up now. I can load it up now. <laughs> I am happy, man. That's that's exactly what I needed. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that either. You better get the ignition box right away, dog. Yeah. And this is a bone stock bottom end you pulled out of a junkyard for how much money? 200, 200 bucks. bucks. 200 bucks for 900 horsepower. 7500 or $75 motor or, or transmission, $200 motor and a $100 rear end. <laughs> and a thousand dollars worth of spark plugs. And a thousand dollars worth of spark plugs. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. They spent more probably money on years, probably. Yeah, they spent more money on spark plugs than the engine. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a three bar map sensor? No. It's a two and a half. There's my problem. That's why I pegged at 17.4 pounds the entire time. Because I, I don't you. have enough map sensor. I told you to put it up. No, you did not. I told you to put <laughs> No, you did not. You said it'd be enough to run 20 pounds. That's why every time has been 17 pounds. 17 pounds. 17 pounds. Because we are tapped it. Yeah, I literally asked that question. I said, what will this make? And we the answer was 20 pounds is what it will make. Well, yeah, it's 17 and a half. Yeah. So it is 20 pounds, but then you take three right. for our elevation, you got 17 pounds. Right. So that that was probably that was definitely in the 20s, probably, for boost. <laughs> I mean the fuel looks good. <laughs> it wasn't pissed good. or nothing. It was 11 <laughs> 0 to 11 5. So it was kind of clean. We need okay a three-bar map sensor ASAP. Yeah. Wow, I'll have to try to dig one out. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm looking at this and it says the same boost. Now, I believed it before because, you know. The power was the about power. the but same. But now we made this power and it's like the same boost I made that? The map sensor max or something? Yes. Like all day. <laughs> well, the last few have probably been little variations of that. Yeah, it's probably a combination. Because <laughs> the other one was read 16 pounds and it made seven... It wasn't the 770, it was the one below that. So, so that was probably 19-ish. So the question is what, back it up and it would probably be clean on the end there? It's possible too, like I mean, we'd need more, we'd need a few more rips in a three bar. All right, so our first pull was 382 horsepower. Our last pull today was 877. We've we figured out it has a two and a half bar map sensor and uh, that's not gonna cut it. So it's gonna go ahead and stay here the night and we're gonna throw a three bar on it in the morning. There's the light. And we're gonna get right back to it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how far this thing will go. He's not sure and I'm not sure, so why not? Let's, let's just figure it out for everybody and see what a little Hemi can take power wise. It's, it's pretty awesome, man. Yeah. It's crazy. We're about to start Hemi swapping everything. I mean, it's pretty cheap. He doesn't have a lot of money in this thing, so. Yeah. I mean, you make four digits or even where we're at. That's pretty darn good, so. All right, we're back again. It's the next morning, and uh, we got a three bar map sensor on it now. Across great. Yeah, it carried across black. That was two degrees less time. How much boost was that? That's the check. The high of 21 pounds. That's good. That's about where I was hoping. That's, Whoa. That's a good number. Whoa. I definitely thought it would be more boost than no, that. No, I thought. Wasn't. So. That's what I was hoping was about 20 pounds is to make that number. 20, 21 pounds, and it was yep. back and forth. That's, That's good. That's a good number. <laughs> That's a good number. It's a good number. All right, so hold on. What are we doing? Two out of three, or just two so out of we're, three, or are we going one hit, one only? So we're flipping a coin right now to see if we're going more duty or not. Okay, two out of three. Heads is send it, and then tails is leave it. All right, one. Tails. There's one tail. One leave it. One leave it. 
Leave it. Leave it. That's two. That's two leave it. The universe said so. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. That's two. Oh. Well, I mean, that's. Leave it. The universe said so. I don't know, Brent. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm I have put 60 in. No, just what, it says 60. What's the temp? The temps? 187. Let it cool off real quick. Get out, drink a coke, and we'll let's do it. Let's do it. it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just I'm do it. Universe that. said no, but we <laughs> said. Universe yes. said no, but we all said we gotta know what 60 does. All right. <laughs> Get out, drink your coke. Cool off, and we'll right. go. about the same it wants more timing but we don't want to give it the more time that's what you said I'm, I'm with it yeah clean 850 right yeah no I'm... that's where we were at originally yeah got there. <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's fine it's clean it's clean i'd leave it Spiked 879 in the second gear. <laughs> wow. <Works. laughs> nice. That was awesome. What's going through your head? Keep it on the road. <laughs>
Well, how, how's it feel? We need that 900. <laughs> we need that 900, huh? I'll put that two grease timer back in. <laughs> she, she's mean. She's mean oh, though. Dude, mean, mean. easy though. Like it's amazing how smooth it feels. I, I started off third, rolled into it, took it really well. I, I just rolled into the first one. Third one or second one, I just stuffed it in third, took it, went into second, did the same thing, took it. Then I did one for you where I got up on the two step and went straight <laughs> for the first full send. <laughs> it, it, it went for it, man. It's wild because as you're as it starts going, you feel the tires are spinning, but this thing is hooking and booking like it's just making some jam. Well, and to think out. that that much power without the tires even being heated up or aired down to almost hook in first, just full stuff. Yeah, is impressive. So this is definitely lean and mean. Well, we know we can always add. Yeah, I think we're, we're my, at the track. <laughs> might be a tiny bit different. <laughs> tiny bit different. That's awesome. No, I really appreciate you for getting. Yeah, man, this, this is cool. I was so glad to bring it out to you. This is really fun. So we settled around 149 horsepower and that truck super impressive and super fun. I'm glad they came out here and let us play with it and uh, learn something new ourselves. I've never got to really play with a Hemi like that so it was kind of fun. And uh, Jamie's, you know, he's pretty partial to Mopar stuff as it is so of we had a good time with that. But we appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you visit, uh, make sure you visit pfispeed.com, get some merch, hang out with us and uh, uh, Get some merch. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. So give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Tomorrow.